Sawadee krap, welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. I'm your host, JP Mistanza, and it's Friday, February 21st, meaning the new edition of the Phuket News has been released. Grab your copy at any one of 600 locations around the island. Let's start with our top story. 19 administrative offices are being asked to help with water outages despite emergency water already being delivered regularly to the Soy King Keo area of Phuket Town's Rasada district, one of the poorest and most densely populated residential areas on the island. Phuket officials say that although 40,000 people are registered as living in the area, counting unregistered people from other provinces who live there, Rasada is actually home to close to 200,000 people. Most of the area is also highland with water pressure too weak to reach. Soy Kinkel suffered the most in the water shortage crisis last year, with the army stepping in to bring water supply relief trucks from other parts of South Thailand. Governor Pakapong Tabipa ordered all 19 local municipalities and administrations across Phuket to provide emergency water supplies wherever needed this past Wednesday, February 19th, a full month earlier than the same order was issued last year when the island suffered its worst shortage in decades and national officials for months have been warning of a worse dry season this year. The chief of the Phuket Provincial Waterworks Authorities, Grayson Mohammed, last month he announced a slew of measures to conserve what little water supplies Phuket has in order to stave off similar water shortages this year, with specific water reductions, outages and distribution points set up for districts across Phuket. You can see the full list by clicking the link in the description. The Phuket Provincial Employment Office is confirming that the number of people in Phuket looking for work has jumped 34% year-on-year since late January in the fallout of the Wuhan coronavirus. Staff of hotels, tour operators and restaurants that cater specifically to Chinese tourists are the main ones affected, according to authorities who added that about 1,000 people total have registered as unemployed from January 26th to February 20th. The spike in Phuket's job list comes just when a job market event is set to take place at the Phuket Provincial Employment Office on March 15th. The Future Forward Party, Thailand's key opposition party, they've been dissolved and are no more after the Constitutional Court today ruled that the party violated election laws by accepting an illegal loan for its, from its billionaire founder, Thanaton, while 16 party executives have also been banned from politics for 10 years. The court ruled that Thanaton's 191 million baht loan to the party, the FFP, the party he co-founded, violated the organic laws on political parties, ruling that the intent of the loan was that it be used as a donation and no one person can donate over 10 million baht to a political party within a one year period. Thanaton will be one of 16 party executives to also be banned from politics for 10 years. Today's ruling to dissolve the key opposition party comes less than two years after its founding and has proven to be a thorn on the side of the establishment ever since it was founded, proving to be extremely popular, especially with the country's youth, coming in third in last year's general election, but hurdling several legal challenges throughout its short existence. The Future Forward Party becomes the fourth anti-military party to be disbanded by the Constitutional Court in the past 13 years. Phuket Extra Bria Brack after this. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. A former school principal headmaster pleaded guilty killing three people, including a two-year-old boy during the armed robbery of a gold shop in Lobburi province on January 9th as he made his first appearance at Bangkok Criminal Court on Friday. 38-year-old Prasiti Chai Golf Kaukeo, formerly the director of a primary school, he's been arraigned on nine counts, including murder, and has pled guilty to all the charges. He used an automatic 9mm pistol with silencer and robbed a gun shop, a, and robbed a gold shop at a Robinson department store in La Buri, killing three people and wounding four others, making off with 34 gold necklaces and fleeing on a motorcycle. Two weeks after the murder robbery and under mounting public pressure to catch the gunman, police arrested, mis arrested Mr. Prasiti Chai on the morning of January 22nd in Laburi as he was on his way to work at the school in nearby Singburi where he was only recently appointed as the headmaster. 
During police interrogation and in answers to reporters' questions, Mr. Parsitichai allegedly said he robbed the gold shop because he wanted some excitement in his life, but he later admitted financial problems were his real motive. The defense ministry is planning to set up a technology industrial estate so Thailand can stand on its own feet when it comes to manufacturing weapons. So far, Thailand has established the defense industry, the energy center, and the weapons production center for research and development, though the facilities are not up to scratch to produce weapons on a large scale yet. Sources told the Bangkok Post that the western province of Kanchanaburi and the eastern province of Chomburi, part of the ambitious eastern economic corridor area, they're among prospective construction sites being considered for the industrial estate. And that's it for Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. For safe, secure, and soundproof windows, visit pvcphuket.com. We like to get your feedback on any of the news you just watched, so drop us a line in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe. From all of us here at the Phuket News Center, thank you for watching, have a great weekend, and we'll see you on Monday. Stay classy, Phuket. Hey, ถ้ามองไม่เห็นเดี๋ยวเราจะย้อนภาพให้ดูทีละมุมถ้ามองจากรถที่อยู่ด้านหน้าคุณจะเห็นชายขี่มอเตอร์ไซค์ตามมาด